Welcome to my Cisco Connecting Network Lab review. We're doing Lab 8125. It is configuring syslog and NTP. So there are five parts. We're doing part one first. We're going to go ahead and enable the syslog server. So go ahead and click on the syslog and then click on services. That's this guy right here. We're going to go on services. Find syslog, go and turn it on, and go ahead and close out of it. Step two, let's go ahead and hop on R1. CLI, get to our global config mode. What we want to do is logging and give it the IP address of the syslog server. All right, that's done. Let's go ahead and hop on switch one and switch two to do the same thing. Get to our global config mode, config T, logging, 10, 0, 1.254. All right, switch two, same thing. Enable, get to our global configuration mode, logging 10.0.1.254. All right, logging has been enabled on all of them per part one. All right, part two wants us to configure loopback to zero on R1, then disable it. All right, so interface loopback zero. We're turning it off. So that part's done. Turn off PC1 and PC2 and then turn them on again. All right, PC1. Desktop, look for power options. All right, power option literally is the power button. PC2, same thing, power button. So that part is done. All right, next, let's look at the system event logger. All right, syslog, and you'll see that they are all here, but you'll notice that the dates and times are all incorrect. So let's clear the log. It does clear the log. Part three is about manually setting the switches clock. All right, so manually set the clock on switch one and switch two. All right, so we're going to go ahead and you'll notice that we're at the global configuration mode. We need to actually back out to our exec mode. Hit exit. We need to clock set. It is currently 1800. Sorry, 1900. 30. Zero, zero seconds. It is April. Twenty nine. 2017. All right, I'm going to copy that. And hop to switch to. I'm going to paste it. That way we have the appropriate date and time. So that part is now taken care of. All right, now configure switch one and switch two to send timestamps to the syslog server by typing in that command. All right, get back to our global config mode. Service timestamp log date time and sec. I'm going to do that on both switches. Config P, 
paste the command. All right. So that's taken care of. Going on. Part four. In this activity, we're assuming that the NTP service is being hosted on a public internet server, which is very common. So we're going to go ahead and open up NTP services. NTP. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. All right, note date and time, 29, 7.30-ish, that's all right. Automatically set the clock on the router. So I'm going to get to my router, make sure I'm in my global configuration mode. NTP server, the IP address of the NTP server. Hit enter, and that should now set it correctly. Configure R1 to send a timestamp with the log that it sends to the syslog server. Again, look up here. This is how we did it on our switches. It's the same command. So part four is done. Lastly, Let's go ahead and do part five. Change the status of an interface to create the event log. So re-enable and then disable loopback zero. Int loop zero, no shut, then shut. And then we will power off both PCs. Nope, turn laptops one and two and then turn them back on. I did the PCs, not the laptops, and I'm doing laptops. And lastly, let's examine the syslog server to see what happened. Syslog, notice the appropriate date and time. Notice those guys right there. As from earlier, interface going down, logging those guys, coming from both those IPs, which those are the laptops. All other things have the appropriate date and time. Let's go ahead and check result. Check result shows everything correct. And so that's this lab in a nutshell. Luckily, this is the only uh, lab in Chapter 8, but if you have any questions or have any problems, please let me know. Thank you.